it's very hard to spot talent. Talent tends to find us, we're fortunate to say. We get kids that are dragged here by their parents because they've worn out the bed springs or the sofa and they start working and then we're fortunate enough in Huntington to be, out, to be able to have a recreation section and an elite section and any kids that show an aptitude for gymnastics should be able to be passed on to another coach that can give them the time. We've been training together with the guys in the, in the club for years and years and years. I mean, they're like my brother, um, you know, they're family. Um, and everyone has their tiffs and disagreements, but, you know, we, we all get on so well. You know, we all support each other. You know, if you're in such a, a high demanding sport, um, you know, it's hard to kind of do that on your own. Um, but the fact you've got support there and people to make that experience a bit easier, um, I think plays a big part. I'm training six days a week. Um, most of those days are twice a day, it's about 32 hours a week, high demand. And the fact that I've had quite a lot of success, you know, I have to balance training with media work and charity work and try and combine the two to the fact where I can work efficiently, but also sort myself out for the future. I feel like I'm the type of person who kind of gets everyone going, gets the morale going. I'm, I'm quite an anchor, I say, in the team, because some people can kind of fall into their shell a bit and you know, the pressures of competition can really affect them. Most of us normal people don't really like to be up stood in front of thousands of people performing something that's right on the edge of making a, an embarrassing mistake, but Lewis shines in that sort of um, area. He can work at an Olympic Games, he can work at any competition, and when he puts his hand up to present a routine, it's his domain, he loves to do that, and his ability to perform is probably his biggest asset. When I saw Lewis winning in Beijing, the biggest feeling for me was one of relief, strangely enough. It was the culmination of a lifetime's work for both of us, and to see him perform the routine that I knew he could do thousands of times was a wonderful feeling. I've never felt like crying through a performance in my life apart from then. The fact that I've been training like 16 years up, up until that competition, I mean, every, every second I spend in this gym was for that, time, that, that moment, and all I have is 50 seconds to prove my life's work and trying to comprehend all that and focus on your job. I mean, it was just um, mad. And then to finish that routine and to land and just be like, do you know what? That, that's what all my training has gone towards. And I've landed it clean. It's just the, the best feeling ever.